Hello guys. So the first one we're going to do today is this uh, quadratic equation. So it says solve one over two x plus one, uh, two x minus one plus three over x minus one equals to one. And then you are asked to give your answer in the form p plus minus root of q over two, where p and q are integers. So what we need to do is, 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 is a direct question. So all what we need to do is, we just need to expand. So the first thing we need to look for is the LCM between 2x minus 1 and x minus 1. And we know that the LCM will be 2x minus 1 bracket x minus 1. So that's the first thing we need to look. So now, 2x minus 1 into 2x minus 1 bracket x minus 1, it will be x minus 1. So x minus 1 multiplied by 1, we have x minus 1 there. And again, we have x minus 1 into 2x minus 1 bracket x minus 1. It is also 2x minus 1. So 2x minus 1 multiplied by 3, that will give us plus 3 into 2x minus 1 is equals to 1. So as usual, you can cross multiply. So and then we cannot expand the bracket. So the first thing we have here is x minus 1 plus 3 multiplied by 2x will give us 6x. 3 multiplied by minus 1 will give us minus 3 equals to, we take this to the other side, so we now have 2x minus 1 into x minus 1. So that's what we have. So now let's collect like this. First of all, on the left hand side, we will now have 1 plus 6 is 7 minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4 so we have 7x minus 4 equals to so let's expand this bracket 2x multiplied by x is 2x squared 2x multiplied by minus 1 is minus 2x minus 1 multiplied by x is minus x uh, minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 is plus 1. So, that will give us 7x minus 4 equals to 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. So, now, let's take everything to the right hand side. So that we can now uh, uh, have a quadratic equation that is equals to zero, then we can now use almighty formula to see if we will get something like this. So what we will do is, so remove 7x from both sides. If you remove 7x from both sides, this will go and then we will now have 2x squared minus 10x plus 1. So. When you add 4 to both sides, now you're going to add 4 to both sides. When you add 4 to both sides, this will go, because that will be minus 4 plus 4, which is 0 on the left-hand side, is equals to plus 1 plus 4, which will now be 5. So that will give us 0, will now give us 5 here. So in case you don't understand this, you can look at my previous video where I did a lot of how to move numbers to the other side of the equation and then you will understand it properly. If there is still anything, you can still call me or send me a message on WhatsApp or on uh, make a comment or send me a message and I will respond. Okay, so this is what we have. So in this case, we cannot use the 
quadratic formula, which is so I'm going to rub this away now so that we'll have space to continue with the question. Okay, so the formula is minus b plus minus root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So where a, this is squared, so this is our a, where 2 is a, b is our minus 10, and c is 5. So if we plug that into this equation, we will have minus 10 here. Minus 10 multiplied by minus will now become 10. So we now have 10 plus minus root of minus 10 multiplied by minus 10 is 100, which is b squared. b multiplied by b. So root of 100 minus 4 a is 2 multiplied by 2 and C is 5 multiplied by 5 all over 2 multiplied by 2. So, Now, we, this will give us 10 plus minus root of 100 minus, that's 10, that's 40 over 2 multiplied by 2. And that is equal to uh, 10 plus minus root of 60 over 2 multiplied by 2. Why I'm always doing this 2 multiplied by 2 is because I want to make sure we have only 2 here. So, which means we are going to simplify this, factorize this. So, now, in order for us to go ahead from here, so I'm going to take this, I'm going to move this now to the top part. That means I'm going to rub this away. So what we have is 10 plus minus root of 60 over 2 multiplied by 2. So what we can do here is that we can change this to 5 multiplied by 2 is 10 plus minus. Let's see if we say root 4 multiplied by root 15 over 2 multiplied by 2. So, in that case, so, it's, it's getting quite similar to this now. So, what we now have here is 2 multiplied by 5 plus minus 2 root 15 over 2 multiplied by 2. So, when you factorize out the 2, you now have 5 plus minus root 15 over 2. And that's exactly what they want us to do. So, what I want to say is that please watch the video. Watch it one or twice, three times, doesn't matter. Watch it as many times as possible to understand what we are doing, all the steps. And then try more questions. So, if you still have problem, send it to me, make your comment, send it to me, and then I will look at it and see how I will be able to support you. So, 
thank you and then enjoy it please don't forget to share it so that others can also learn from it because when you share and everyone knows it everyone is aware of, uh, knows how to handle this question the better thank you and god bless